in the foothills of Monte Peler in the Valdisole part of the Brenta Dolomites. It's popular year-round with holiday makers. It's a tranquil place, but back in April, jogger Andrea Papi was killed here by a brown bear. He always said, like, I know that the, there is the bear, but uh, I don't think that uh, he will kill me because many people go up there and I cannot be the unfortunate case, but... Uh, This was the first fatal bear attack recorded in Italy in 150 years. But as bear numbers have increased, so have human bear encounters. There were several bear attacks on people. And now, after two decades of conservation triumph, Papi's death not only threatens the life of this bear, but the future of all bears rewilded in the Italian Alps. We are all terrified because uh, the important members of our region aren't doing anything. Using DNA, the suspect was identified as JJ4, a bear that had attacked before. And Papi's death has ignited a fierce debate across Italy. JJ4 was captured almost two weeks after the attack on the jogger, before being sedated and taken here to the Casteller Animal Wildlife Center, a short distance from the city of Trento. It was founded in the 1960s as a clinic for injured wild animals. But activists say animals there are heavily sedated and don't have the facilities to allow them to display their natural behaviors. Questo alle mie spalle è un luogo simbolico per noi perché è un carcere per orsi. Da aprile è rinchiusa l'orsa JJ4. In 2021 some of the activists actually got inside this enclosure and Francesco is showing me right now images of what this the place looks like from inside. I corsi erano molto stressati, facevano atti di autolesionismo, movimenti stereotipati e per tenerli buoni gli avevano dato somministrato psicofarma. The decision to euthanize JJ4 has remained controversial and environmentalists have appealed against their destruction so far successfully. Non è che quest'orsa ha attaccato perché voleva uccidere ha attaccato perché si è sentita in pericolo, ha percepito un pericolo per, per i suoi cuccioli. Eh, qui si sta punendo con canoni umani. Noi siamo contrari comunque anche alla cattività a vita, per cui la cosa più naturale sarebbe rimetterla in natura. By the end of the 20th century, no more than three or four alpine brown bears lived in the Alps and most were seen in this valley. Then in 1999 the EU-funded Life Ursus project began the relocation of 10 bears from Slovenia to Trentino. We are here in Sardinia where up to a few decades ago bears were still kept in this bear pit at the entrance to the village. Now a tourist attraction, it's a symbol of how Italian attitudes to bears have changed. While environmentalists continue to campaign to save JJ4, the case has exposed the complex challenges involved in rewilding large carnivores. Our focus is not really on the individual bear, but more on the population of bears and on the environment, not, not much on the single one. There was a poll when they were introduced in, I think, in the 90s, and I think that 75% of the population of the province said they were in favor of their introduction. Now probably would be different, but it's more, I think, how the project has been run in recent years. There was, I think, an ambivalent uh, uh, relationship with bears that were both uh, something that was feared but something also that was admired. In various cultures across Europe the bear's size and strength implies masculine virility while the mother's ferocious protectiveness is a demonstration of maternal love. 
L'orso è stato compagno della vita dell'uomo per millenni. L'idea di reintrodurre degli orsi e di tutelarli nel Trentino occidentale è un'idea molto vecchia. Nel 1919 alcuni intellettuali trentini avevano già scritto dell'opportunità, della necessità di tutelare l'orso nel Trentino occidentale. Andrea Mostoni was the man chosen to coordinate the EU-funded Life Ursus project and prevent extinction of the Italian population by reintroducing bears from Slovenia. He was responsible for the capture, transportation, release and monitoring of the new brown bears. Siamo partiti verso la Slovenia con un furgone con una grossa cassa di acciaio posizionata dietro e dopo eh, parecchie settimane in realtà abbiamo cominciato a catturare i primi orsi e trasportarli in Italia. Una delle difficoltà è stata quella che volevamo catturare degli orsi particolarmente selvatici nelle valli più sperdute e più remote della Slovenia, evitando degli orsi che erano già più abituati alla presenza dell'uomo, che sarebbero stati sicuramente più facili da catturare, ma anche più problematici una volta portati in Italia. Questi sono radiocollari forse un po' antichi. These radio tracking collars were used to collect scientific data and enable the tracing of bears in the event of significant damage. Historically, the bears were in the northernmost part of the Brenta Dolomites, but now they are concentrated in the more populated southern part of the region. JJ Four's fatal attack was not her first offense. She attacked her father and son out on a hike in 2020, the bear was supposed to be destroyed, but the decision was successfully overturned. Penso che sia stato un errore. Questi orsi che rovinano in qualche modo il buon nome della popolazione intera di orsi, degli orsi che sono schivi, che stanno in alto sulle nostre montagne e che non si fanno mai vedere, gli orsi sono molto importanti, tutto sommato anche per il nostro futuro, per la nostra cultura e per il nostro approccio nei confronti della natura. Ma le persone devono venire prima, il rispetto della vita deve venire prima ancora degli orsi. The Trentino area has a significant population and a thriving tourist industry. Both pose significant challenges to the reintroduction of bears, but some argue the benefits outweigh any potential problems. Large carnivores are really important pieces of the ecosystems because they regulate everything that goes under them. So we could choose. We could choose to not have them in, in the Alps anymore, but the society decided to, to change the perspective towards nature. It was considered a value to avoid the extinction of these uh, predators. Many local citizens were enthusiastic about the project, with some putting up their own cameras to watch bears in action. Sadly, the careful selection procedure couldn't prevent problems developing. In 2001, the Live Ursus team proudly announced the arrival of Jurka, a new 90 kg brown bear from Slovenia. All'inizio era un'orsa, una femmina molto schiva, difficile da osservare, che non si faceva mai vedere, che non faceva danni sul territorio. Poi probabilmente ha incontrato degli animali domestici, in particolare ricordo delle galline, e ha cominciato a cibarsene. L'orso faceva l'orso, cercava solamente del cibo, però è chiaro che nel momento in cui si avvicinava ai pollai, alle case, spaventando le persone, è diventato un orso fastidioso in qualche modo. E la cosa peggiore è che ha insegnato a tutti i suoi cuccioli anche ad avvicinarsi all'uomo e a utilizzare anche le risorse dell'uomo. Bear experts call such bold behavior food conditioned and these animals soon become problem bears. This is because usually food resources are left uh, there for bears like garbage, fruit products in the orchards and bears understand that uh, people are not a threat and connect, associate people and towns with food, an easy source of food. In the early years, Jurka and her cubs were blamed by Trentino's local authority for half of all bear-related damage in the area. 
Kiara's family has lived in the valley for four generations. Soon after the Live Ursus project began, a bear visited the property and destroyed beehives. The hives are now protected by an electric fence. He doesn't come anymore because he knows. So he's not stupid? No, not at all. <laughs> Despite the province they give you a refund of money, still uh, it's a damage because first you don't have your honey for this year and second you have less bees. It means next year you have uh, half or less of the houses. However, the threat has not tainted her family's enthusiasm for her unusual neighbors. It's a great thing to have such a big animal in the area because it was part of our ecosystem before. I've seen one on a hiking trail. I didn't move and I saw the dog going a little bit towards the bear. The dog came back and the bear just disappeared. We live in the forest, we live in the mountain, but we are not really afraid of the bear because we know that is part of our mountains and I always think about the possibility of finding a bear so you don't go just stroll around with music in the in your ears and the talking on the telephone no Bears play an interesting role in Trentino's history. I'm here in San Romedio, named after one of the area's heavenly protectors. It's believed he tamed a bear. And it's also here that Jurka was taken after being captured and temporarily housed in the medieval bear pit. The bear pit is now home to Bruno, a bear rescued from captivity. Most bears are shy and avoid humans, but since the project began, around 13% of bears have displayed problem behaviors. There are some bears that are more prone to become bold, more prone to, um, to approach villages and people. Usually in the animal world it's a kind of a mix between genetics, learning, because also learning is particularly important, uh, especially in bears that stay up to two years with the mother so they can learn problem behaviors. Could it have been predicted that JJ4 would be dangerous? Her siblings all were problem bears at some point. One was shot in Germany, one was shot in Switzerland, and they were all cubs from uh, Jurka. Actually, JJ4 was the only one of the siblings that didn't show any problem behavior. She was very shy, she was avoiding humans a lot. The thing is that at one point, uh, she was involved in this aggressive reaction to humans. Bear attacks are rare and most bears avoid human contact. To prevent surprising a bear, people are told not to run, cycle or hike alone in the woods and it is important to let the bear know you are coming. We have to speak loud, uh, clap our hands and make loud noises, keep on the trails. Only 9% of bear attacks are fatal, but it is important if you do encounter a bear not to fight. Uh, if the bear approaches us, we just need to stay still. I know that it's super hard, super difficult. It's very difficult to control our emotion, our reaction. But people that stay calm and still are more likely to come out safe from this situation. The Trentino region relies on tourism. Over recent decades, the number of people using the area for walking, jogging, hiking and mountain biking has increased making human bear encounters more likely. I think it might be quite dangerous if you're coming close to it. But okay, it never will happen, I'm sure. Usually we're going in the woods uh, with the dog unleashed. That's something I don't do anymore at all. The people who decide to come in the forest, in the, in the mountains, they, they are not afraid. Otherwise they stay in town. Bears have also increased the area's appeal. They are used in logos across the province. There is even a bear museum. They are the biggest attraction in the local wildlife park, which supports rewilding with educational resources. In the last 10 years, visitor numbers have more than doubled. 
I am in the Spermaggiore Wildlife Park, which was set up in the 1990s with the aim of allowing wild animals to live in separate enclosures as close to the natural habitat as possible. The bears here do not just attract tourists. The wildlife park is having problems with Jose, Jojo Four's father, coming to visit the female bears, especially in the mating season in June. We made this project, Life Ursus, and it has a huge uh, results. Maybe too much. The Life Ursus project ended in 2004, but the number of bears continued to rise. The initial hope was for 40 bears, but the current estimate is as high as 140. Nobody thought maybe that after all, only 20 years we will have so a lot of uh, brown bears here. They thought probably that they will move in the other region, but they didn't go away. The fatal attack on Andrea Papi has been a challenge for the park and many locals have turned against the rewilding project. Uh, they are scared. I understand them. You know, they lost a person of uh, the village. Uh, I know people that from 20 years, 30 years, that they are going here on the paths in the forest and now they are scared. No, we don't go. The villagers in the valley below the wildlife park are used to seeing bears. Mi sono girato, che mi ha detto no, non c'è l'orso, era da qua, là. E là sono rimasto là, adesso è finita. In 2022, local resident Italo counted 17 bears on the hill behind his house. Io vado su per funghi, adesso sono tre anni che non vado più. Qua sopra, in quel piano là che si vede, passano in un giorno minimo 150-200 biciclette. C'è il sentiero, no? Che viene... Eh, là. L'orso, cosa vuoi che... Deve andare da qualche parte, deve andare, non sa più dove andare, sono troppi. The bear debate is dividing Italy both intergenerationally and along urban and rural lines. I am not against bears because it's their nature, they live there. We hope that some of them can go back to Slovenia or maybe go in a protected area where people don't go. Un orso se viene a casa mia bisogna ucciderlo. Bisogna ucciderlo. You either prevent them to so many to be born or at some point you're gonna have to kill some. The case of the killer bear has also become a big political issue in Italy. Maurizio Fugatti is a member of the Lega political party, which forms the largest part of Italy's coalition government, led by Giorgia Meloni. He has fought the reintroduction of bears for years and is now calling for a cult. Chi vuole bene a questo progetto non deve preoccuparsi di JJ4. Chi si preoccupa di JJ4, diciamo, fa ideologia. Chi vuole bene a questo progetto ci aiuti, ci aiuti a trasferire gli altri, altrimenti il progetto, come ho già avuto modo di dire, fallirà perché ci saranno altri attacchi ad altre persone, perché sono stati otto attacchi negli ultimi eh, 7-8 anni. For the past years it has been using this politically as something to go against Europe and the environment and has not been trying to avoid problems but has only been shouting that there were too many bears and they, the province had to be free to do what they wanted with that without any restriction. Per fortuna ci sono ancora delle leggi a tutela perché appunto in questo momento la politica trentina sta, ehm, stanno usando questa tragedia solo per fare propaganda. Però la cosa molto grave è che lui sta inneggiando al bracconaggio. Loro continuano a ripetere che se lo Stato non li autorizza a iniziare a decimare gli orsi lo faranno i bracconieri, lo dicono apertamente. Many argue that the province has failed to implement the basic measures that avoid human-bear conflict. If you go in many bear areas, still there is no bear-proof bin. Every researcher will tell you that a fat bear is a dead bear, because at the end, if bears get used to feed on trash, on garbage, uh, or even on other kind of uh, human resource, um, it's gonna be shot or it's gonna die in some way at some point. 
Fino al 2004 abbiamo monitorato noi gli orsi direttamente con i radiocollari e con tutte le attività di campo. Negli anni successivi al 2004 è stata la provincia autonoma di Trento, in particolare i servizi forestali, a gestire la situazione degli orsi presenti in Trentino. Quindi quello che so e quello che posso raccontare è quello che hanno fatto i miei colleghi della provincia autonoma di Trento, che hanno catturato JJ4, le hanno posizionato un radiocollare per riuscire a seguirla eh, nel tempo. Quello che so è anche che questo radiocollare ha scaricato le batterie e che quindi da un certo punto in poi non è stato più possibile riuscire a seguirla. Eh, altre cose non, non posso dire perché non sono direttamente sotto la mia responsabilità. The rise in bear numbers is a key issue for locals and some concede that to secure a future for the bears the project may have to limit bear numbers. Quello che penso in questo momento è che in Trentino gli orsi comincino a essere troppi perché la gente è spaventata. Relocation of bears could be blocked by neighboring provinces unhappy to receive them. This leaves the more complicated solution of sterilization. Avendo parlato con alcuni veterinari penso che questa sia una possibile strada da intraprendere anche per riuscire a fermare un pochettino, ad abbassare i tassi di natalità della specie che in questo momento sono molto alti in Trentino. However, others argue that there is still a way to go before the project has achieved its rewilding objective. We have this small population and it's isolated and it's in danger because of uh, there is no genetic flow with other populations, so uh, it's still at risk of extinction, so I don't think it's too large. Environmentalists believe the project can succeed if people adapt their behavior to live alongside the bears. Communication is a fundamental part in large carnivore conservation. Communication, stakeholder engagement, go to people and talk and talk. It's important to learn what we have to do in a bear area. Bear attacks is not an Italian problem, it's not an alpine problem, but attacks happen everywhere where bears and people live together. Io spero che quello che è accaduto però non si traduca solamente in un danno nei confronti del progetto, ma anche che ci spinga a nuovi ragionamenti e a trovare delle nuove forme di convivenza con questo grande animale, anche per dare dignità al dramma che è accaduto. We will try to live with them and uh, we hope that they don't kill another person because uh, it will be a big problem. The decision on JJ4's future is on hold until December, but the damage her fatal attack has done to trust among the locals and to the project as a whole may last a lot longer.